Hello guys, welcome. Hello, Rugum. Namaskaram. My name is Sangeeta Devendran, and you guys are watching Bold and Beautiful. So finally, guys, I have come up with. This beautiful Onam special look. I have specially created this for all of you guys. So this is what I have uh, created for Onam look, guys. Uh, this is what I am wearing. This is a traditional set to sari. I am wearing that, and also I have put uh, all the traditional things, whatever. I personally wear whenever there is an occasion, and also, guys, if you are new to my channel, I would take a moment. Please, please subscribe to my channel. There is a description box there. Please hit that. Also, there is a small notification bell. Hit that as well, so that whenever I post a new video, you guys get notified as soon as possible. So, without me much rambling, let's get started. So finally I'm back with my bare face once again guys and for today's makeup tutorial I'll start by filling in my eyebrows and for that I'm taking mass eyebrow palette in the variant 01 there are two colors black and brown I'll mix both of these and using an angle brush just like that I'll shape out my eyebrows first you can see I'm outlining my eyebrows here and then after once I'm satisfied with the shape of my eyebrows I'll start filling in it so that I can get a little bushy and thicker looking eyebrows. So then I went ahead and concealed my eyebrow using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 36 Golden and with the help of a concealer brush I'll just carefully cover out my eyebrows so that it should look a little softer and not so harsh then here guys i'm using that same concealer and applying that all over my lid so that i can cancel out the darkness over there if there is any and i'll just blend that nicely so that i can get a clean base for my next step and also i will just powder that a little bit so that there should be no creasing So next I'm moving on to my eyeshadow guys and for that I'm taking my Nika K Poison Apple eyeshadow palette. You can see this is a beautiful gorgeous uh, palette. So I'll use that a brown toned red and also this a bright red today. So I'll take an angle brush and dip that into that red shade and apply that onto my crease. Now you can see guys I have hooded eyes and my crease line is not that prominent and appropriate so i'll apply that color on the crease and give that a little depth so after that i'm taking a cream eye shadow guys this is by stars cosmetic and uh, this is in the shade cream rouge this is again a very good cream eye shadow guys if you want you can also apply any lipstick of that sa uh, same shade but here i am using this cream eye shadow and applying that all over the lid by my fingers since it's cream and it applies very nicely if i use my fingers i did that and then dipping into the same color again i'll just blend that one more time nicely so that there should be no harsh lines Then again I'm taking that golden shade from the palette and I'll use my fingers to apply that. This is a little glittery and shiny color guys. I'm applying that on the eyelid area and I'm only concentrating that in the center of eyelid area. I'm not far uh, stretching that anywhere further. So then I'll take this uh, maroon red shade and I'll just apply that carefully around the outer corner and in the inner corners without smudging it with the gold shade. And uh, that's it guys my eyes are done. I'll just match it with the other eye and after doing that I'll move on to my face. 
सो फॉर फाउंडेशन गाइज आई एम यूजिंग टूडे एल ए गर्ल प्रो कवरेज एच डी फाउंडेशन दिस इज अ फुल कवरेज फाउंडेशन इन द शेड टैन एंड आई टेक ऑलमोस्ट वन एंड हाफ पम्प ऑन द बैक ऑफ माई हैंड एंड आई क्विकली अप्लाई दैट ऑल ऑफ माई फेस एंड आई ऑल्सो अप्लाई दैट ऑन द नेक एरिया एज वेल and then i'll take my color bar damp beauty blender i'll just uh, blend that foundation nicely guys also this is hd foundation that means it gives a full coverage and there is no way that the skin can peek through and this is a festive look also so i kept in mind and use this hd foundation this is really very good and then i'll take my maybelline fit me concealer one more time and i'll use that for spot concealing today i'll not apply too much and for highlighting i'm using my nyx hd pro concealer in the shade medium amoyan and apply that under my eyes and also some on the bridge of my nose and also on a top of my um, cupid's bow and a little bit on the chin wherever i need uh, some highlighting and using my beauty blender once again i'll just blend that everything nicely into the place and next i'll move on to my cream contouring guys and for that i'm taking my kiss beauty a cream contouring palette and from that i'll use this deep brown shade and apply that on the hollows of my cheeks and little bit i'll also apply under my uh, jaw line uh, wherever i find that uh, the cream contouring is necessary i'm applying uh, there also guys uh, this step is totally optional i'm doing for the video purpose you can uh, totally totally skip this step and then using an angle brush i'll just blend everything nicely guys the moment i blend you can see i have got a nice chiseled out face and that is what i wanted to achieve here and after cream contour i'll move on to my powder contour guys for that i'm taking my wet n wild mega glow contouring palette and using my damp a beauty blender only i'll apply that powder under my eyes so that i can get little bit brightness and uh, taking that a uh, dark shade i'll apply wherever i have applied my contour and then i'll move on to my kajal guys and for that i'm using my k beauty kajal in the shade spade i'll apply that under the lower waterline area also i'll tight line my eyes and then using a pencil brush i'll just smoke out that kajal a little bit and then for my eyeliner i'm using today the sugar gel eyeliner guys this is really very good eyeliner it doesn't smudge it doesn't budge so i'll use an angle brush just like that and i'll apply my eyeliner since this is a festive makeup look and i'm going little overboard on my makeup today so i'll draw a strong bold wing liner today and after drawing a strong wing i'll start connecting it with the inner corners After that I am using my mini so eyelash curler to curl my eyelashes guys this will ensure that my eyes will look little wide open and then I'm using my Rimmel London Scandal Eyes mascara this is a voluminizing mascara guys uh, so I'll apply two three coats and nicely on the upper eyelashes and also on the lower eyelashes
and for blusher i'm using today a liquid blush by the brand o2o and this is in the variant 06 this is one of the beautiful uh, natural looking color guys i find this a really very long lasting so i'll take a teeny tiny bit on my hand and i'll apply that with the help of my fingers and then i went ahead and uh, tapped it onto the skin and nicely blended it and also guys you can see this looks really very beautiful and very natural and finally i'll move on to my favorite part this is highlighter guys i'm using today maybelline master chrome highlighter in the shade molten gold and uh, using a powder brush i'll just highlight my face on the cheekbone a little bit on the forehead and a little bit on the chin you can see guys i love love highlighting my face i almost enjoy highlighting my face and taking a little a powder brush just like that i'll apply a little bit on the top of my nose so that i can get that sharp glow uh, and a little bit on the eyebrow bone and also i'll apply that in the inner corners as well so that i can get a little popped out look there and then for lining my lips i'm using mn true lips lip liner i'm so sorry i forgot the shade guys i'll definitely link down below in the description box please do check that And for lipstick, I'm using my Stay Quirky Liquid Lipstick in the shade Too Hot to Date. This is such an amazing, beautiful red lipstick, guys. This is so festive appropriate. I so love this lipstick a lot. And finally, using my Maybelline Lasting Fix Spray, I'll just fix my makeup in place and here i am ready guys i have worn my set to sari and also i'm adding on my beautiful accessories here added some jhumkas i really love this jhumkas and then added a bindi and then finally the look is finished you guys i've added a gajra and also put the chandan tikka which is very very auspicious so that's it guys the look is ready and also guys i have also shown how to tie gajra if you are making a bun so with bun you can tie the gajra just like that and it looks really very beautiful guys also i wanted to say guys if you don't want this kind of heavy makeup for festive season you can also wear this for any wedding guest makeup guys because for wedding these days we can't afford going out and do a parlor look so you can definitely get ready on your own with is following these kinds of uh, steps on your own so that's it guys that is what i really wanted to teach by this a full-fledged detail a video i hope you like my video and if you like it please give it a big thumbs up and do let me know in the comments down below how is your thoughts on this particular video until i meet you all next take good care of yourself bye